Well, we knew they were coming, and those are the new claims from Stormy Daniels attorney Michael Avenatti, who says he's now representing a third Kavanaugh accuser in an affidavit posted online by Avenatti. A woman named Julie Swetnick makes the claim that Brett Kavanaugh, as a high school student in the early 1980s, along with other men, young men, teenagers, spiked the drinks of girls at house parties with either drugs or grain alcohol to, quote, cause girls to lose inhibitions and their ability to say no. Swetnick also says, quote, these efforts by Kavanaugh and his buddy Mark Judge were done so the girls could then be gang raped in a side room or bedroom by a train of numerous boys. She goes on to say, I have a firm recollection of seeing boys lined up outside rooms at many of the parties waiting for their turn with a girl inside. And she implicates Kavanaugh's childhood friend, Mark Judge and Kavanaugh himself. But a lot of problems with this uh -huh. allegation. I want to discuss those with our good friend, trial attorney and senior columnist at townhall.com, Kurt Schlichter, who joins us by phone now. Kurt, here's my biggest problem. Doesn't this woman essentially admit that she was an accessory to gang rape? She admits to being at these parties from 1981 to 1982, 10 parties where she witnessed these rapes, watched guys line up outside of rooms to gang rape women. She kept going back to the parties, presumably bringing friends with her until she claimed she herself was the victim of gang rape. I am never one, never one to dismiss victims. Nothing about this is credible. And in my opinion, if she had walked into any law enforcement command on the planet, mm -hmm. she's admitting she's an accessory. No. What do you yeah. say, Kurt? I think she's a lying sack of flaming garbage, John. You know, as we speak, I am driving by the location of the Manhattan Beach preschool. Do you remember that witch hunt from 30 years ago where innocent people went to jail on false sex allegations? That, uh, that liberals wanted to believe. They wanted to believe so much they didn't care if they ruined people's life. Evidence, facts, none of it matters. Look at this, John. If you had a real allegation, would you wait to take it to stripper Matlock 35 years later, or would you run to the car? Well, the that's right. That's my... is, yes. Oh, I kept going back to parties with them. Right. Well, that's my point, Kurt. A young woman claims she was so horrified at watching these gang rapes that she attended, by her own admission, about nine more parties where this was happening, yeah, never calling the police, back. never telling a parent? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that she kept going back. What's that make her? Yeah. Well, I, I think it makes her a liar. I think it makes her a liar. The fact that she went to Avenetti, a guy who gives Los Angeles trial lawyers like me a bad name, if, that's, if it's even more possible... <laughs> Uh, you know, it, 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 it's an indicator. Now, here's my guess. I'm guessing her social media is scrubbed. I'm guessing it'll take a little while to find out that she's a, a gyno hat wearing leftist doing this for the attention that comes from it and to, to, to fulfill the agenda of her leftist pals. David Grassley needs to say no. No, you don't get to do this. You don't get to come right at the end of the process with a BS allegation and upturn everything. We are voting. We are confirming. That's what needs to happen. Well, so Kurt, you're on the, you're on the you fence, for, Kurt. Yeah, so I'm not really sure how you feel about it. How you feel about that? You want to make your point again? No, uh, no. I appreciate your your directness as always, Kurt. Yeah. So I want to ask you though. We talked about this this latest uh, accuser coming forward. Yeah. Let's talk about the other two accusers because uh, Dr. Ford is supposed to again testify tomorrow, and then you heard the White House. Uh, say that it's it will consider hearing Ramirez. Yes, right? yeah. Deborah Ramirez again, the second accuser that the New Yorker uh, published a piece about, but the New York Times wouldn't because they didn't think there was enough evidence. I've said it here in this program as a journalist, I wouldn't feel comfortable running stories about any of these women, including this third, including this third, right. based on the information that's been presented. And, and let me add one and more you thing: you wouldn't investigate it. So, no. as an attorney, Kurt. Uh, would you take any of these on? Let me add one thing, Kurt. NBC News is reporting they have corroborating affidavits for oh, yeah, Blasey Ford, that. but they're really not corroborating anything mm -hmm. other than what, what, her what, what, story. You need to understand what the word corrobor corroboration means. It doesn't mean corroborating the assault. It means corroborating that this liar was talking about him. Right. That's We're talking about an incident. She didn't always mention they're him by name. Right. Garbage. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what are your thoughts? All flaming garbage. So, Kurt, let me ask you, all three of these accusers, would you take them on as, as an attorney? Would you do that? No, I'd rather have Kavanaugh. Okay, so let me ask you this, then. 
Uh, do you I think the clients? I have thrown out clients I didn't believe were telling the truth. So why I isn't I Chuck Grassley? Why aren't Republicans doing that? They're in charge of the Senate. Because he's weak. Because he's weak. Because he thinks, oh my gosh, if we don't if we don't pretend to believe them, because no one does. If we don't pretend to believe them, people are going to be upset with us. Not outside the Beltway. Every one of us. Let, let me also Every ask you this. Has because a brother or a father or a son who could be the victim of this That's kind true. of abuse. Yep. Real Every quick, one of us. We all quick, know it. We're not buying it. Yeah, real quickly, we're running out of time, and I don't want to. I don't want to interrupt you, but we mentioned that this <laughs> that the Republicans have hired this outside counsel yeah, from uh, Arizona, from Phoenix, a woman. Yeah. So obviously, all the Republicans on the Senate Judiciary Committee are are male. Um, you know, I've heard Republicans criticize Democrats for playing identity politics. Yet now they they feel it imperative to hire a female attorney because they're worried about how it's going to look. Uh, let's be honest. I actually think it was just a very sensitive thing to do. I mean, they can't help it. It's not like they don't have women there. But is that not playing they identity politics? There. No, they have women there. They just, she, she is playing identity politics. They have women there, but they're all Democrats. they are trying to, you know, meet her histrionic needs. I don't know. Well, but she doesn't want, she does not want the outside counsel. She right, wanted. Of course she doesn't, because no, she, she wants doesn't. to be able to complain that all of these men, men question right. her. But let me, let me get your take, Kurt. Was this a, a smart move? On the Republicans' part, yes, it was a smart move because remember, this isn't a legal uh, uh, event. This is not a legal proceeding. This is purely political, and it is good to take away one of her cards, which is oh, the old white men are picking on me by cross-examining me and asking you know challenging questions about my shaky allegations. Um, and in fact, my town hall article for tomorrow lists 45 questions I'd ask because I don't give a damn, uh, but they're all afraid to. Uh, I like the idea that there's a prosecutor up there. I hope she rips this woman to shreds. Because if you're going to accuse somebody of a crime, you should be cross-examined by a zealous advocate hard, harshly. And at the end of it, if you held up under cross-examination, that's pretty good evidence. Yeah, pretty that's good, a good evidence point. That what you're saying is the truth. This is critical, folks. This is the foundation of our legal system, the chance to, the chance to challenge an accusation. Yeah. Hey, Kurt, yeah. before we let you go, we're running out of time. Two questions for you. One, do you think Ford ultimately shows up at the hearing? And two, does Kavanaugh ultimately get yeah. confirmed and he, is he seated on the Supreme Court? My guess is no and yes. There it is. Yeah. He yeah. agrees uh, with both guess. of you. Yeah. All, All right. right. Kurt Schlichter, author, senior town hall columnist and veteran trial attorney. And the only Thanks person for being who's here. actually more animated on the phone than he is. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to be cross-examined hey, by him. I'll put it this way. You know, Kurt, we're friends. I just don't want you to sit on the fence as much anymore. Just be <laughs> definitive. Try to come out of your shell and we might a little, have little you bit. back. <laughs>